had another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, Yul. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just oh. ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. You're a stranger here too, huh? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind and all points in between. Many years ago I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune, but for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Eren, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. Well, there is Ingun Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's Elixirs working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi, the worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Riften, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Safe travels. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves' Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves' Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her.
The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild, so basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Be seeing you around. know what's good for you. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Huh? What do you want? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh! Thank you. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragon. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. The, the signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Maramo. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. <coughs> Yeah, what's your problem? I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. 
End of story. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump into each other again. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Good man, you won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'll meet you outside of town. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, hey lad? Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, hey lad? A fairest prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. Vegetables as Christmas. Ah, Winter's morning. expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first, then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. I'm ready when you are. Just give the word. Looking to stay alive? Okay, lad. Ready to make some coin. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Gather round, all.
Come on, Brignol. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned out to be crushed Nurn root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Balma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? One and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. Did you then no one's seen them in years my sources must remain a secret for their own protection but I can promise you that the contents are genuine one sip of the elixir and your wishes will be granted great wealth everlasting life or perhaps limitless power could be yours how much does it cost only 20 gold septums. Hurry, before my supply is gone. He gives other merchants a bad name. Who knows what powers the elixir will unlock? I can't afford to get one. How can I afford not to? He has to be lying. Learn a library's worth of knowledge in moments. I could get rich and stop selling these trinkets. Why would you even listen to him? Live for thousands of years. I can't afford to get one. Can I afford not to? Why would you even listen to him? See into other people's thoughts. I don't know. Sounds like I should try. When I'm done here, I'd be more than happy to sell you an elixir. What in the name of Oblivion do you want? Just how long did you expect me to keep those people distracted? I had to let the whole plan fall through. Well, at least you didn't do anything stupid. Next time when you're given a job, don't wander off or take your sweet time. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Nothing around here has been going well lately. Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton. A tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. All meats guaranteed. Protect Clean and free right. from my armor from Grelka. Come to Riften, home of the Thieves Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lice. They're just thugs. 
vermin creeping around the rat way. Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. The Imperials think we need their loss. <laughs> a dragon. It killed several soldiers. As Yar Leila's house car, I, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance Make from sure her at a all times. plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Did we have an appointment? What are you doing down here? Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. For a dragon to attack Kynesgrove. Why? Why there? Is no place safe? <coughs> Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. 
My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Then I think we're done talking. Ah, finally! Someone besides the stupid guards to talk to. I'm not stealing anything. Besides, some jail time isn't gonna make me roll over and play dead. Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Svidi. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Exactly. And now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her and I promise you'll be well compensated. She was a young woman, buxom, with long flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. I've never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Yeah, mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. When speaking of the Blackbriars, only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? When I find that bitch, I'm gonna wring her little neck. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms at all of Skyrim. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. 
Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I can beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. All right, remember, this is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. you were right. Not at all. It's good to be put in your place once in a while. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets expensive. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Haven't ridden since. Don't mind if you do. What's your price? Sold. She's all yours. She's already saddled up. Mm-hmm. Sapphire. By the eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. All I've right, been looking then. for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Sorry, nothing. Sorry, nothing. <laughs> 